Hi, welcome to Mindful Monday. It's the beginning of the last week of Healthy Aging Month and the last Monday of the month. And it's also the beginning of the Jewish New Year for people of the Jewish faith. So I couldn't think of a better time to introduce Mindful Monday. If we want to make any changes in our lives, changes that afford us a better sense of well being, we can only do it if we're aware. And in order to be aware, we have to be mindful. The two go hand in hand. They're not mutually exclusive. So why do our minds need mindfulness? Research tells us that people who are mindful are generally happier. They report less anxiety, symptoms associated with depression, are less angry and slower to anger and have less stress. It also tells us that people who are more mindful experience increased longevity, vitality, and hope. You can say that mindfulness can kind of be considered like a healing practice. So in this case, you may wonder, are most people practicing mindfulness? And if not, why not? Sure, there are many apps out there, but it often takes more than downloading an app. It, it's important to understand the underlying foundations of the practice. And we, sometimes we need guidance and coaching to implement practices and strategies on a consistent basis. Mindfulness also involves focusing on the present moment and accepting um, acceptance for things as they are. Not so easy in our hectic lives. We're stressed, rushed, overwhelmed, and we tend to be more reactive than responsive. As Oprah has said, doing the best at this moment puts you in the best place for the next moment. So mindfulness will help you identify your, identify your ways of thinking that are helpful and unhelpful and can help you respond with more compassion towards yourself and of course towards others and respond in healthier ways to, to face life's challenges. So here's a mindful tip for today. We take approximately 25,000 breaths per day and there are powerful effects that we can gain from mindful breathing. Mindful breathing teaches us to become aware of thoughts. We can identify the thoughts that come and go. And when we're um, mindful of these thoughts, we can decide which ones we want to pay attention to, which ones are helpful, and the ones we want to let go because they're not helpful. And this is a powerful ingredient to well being. So choose a time when you can grab time for yourself without distractions. Sit quietly in a place and position yourself where you feel most comfortable. Start by breathing in and out slowly. One breath cycle should take approximately six seconds. Breathe in through your nose. And out through your mouth, letting the breath flow effortlessly in and out of your body. Let go of your thoughts and just concentrate on the breathing. Focusing on the sensation of the breathing can help still a racing mind. It can reduce racing thoughts that go through your mind. And some people are now referring to it as stillness. If you can do this for about five minutes when finished, sit quietly for a moment. You should feel more relaxed, taking the feeling that you're experiencing. Of course, please remember, if you have any discomfort, you should stop immediately. And also consult a medical or other professional if you have a personal history, experiences, or medical situations that might not be recommended for practicing any kind of mindful breathing or any kind of breathing technique. So that's the Mindful Monday tip for today. Breathe and relax. See you next time.